What's up, Ghosty community? Millennium Force Man back with another video. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about RMC Predator, uh, possibilities of this, if it's going to happen or not. And if you didn't know already, uh, Predator is a Din Woody at Darien Lake. And uh, we all know just how smooth Din Woodies are. So, uh, yeah, this ride's just uh, always been rough. I can't even sit in the back anymore. It just jackhammers you to death. And the ride's just really boring, too. Uh, there's no forces at all, and the pacing is just absolute trash. But this coaster looks like it would be a really good RMC candidate. Uh, yeah, some people might say it's too short, but, you know, you can always add height to it. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, like, what is a Twisted Cyclone? That's like 96 feet or something like that. Uh, somewhere around there. So it really doesn't matter. What matters is just how good the layout is. And this coaster actually looks like it would have a good uh, layout for an RMC which you'll see in uh, a little bit later in this video, but it just mixes uh, a lot of stuff up. You know, it has a kind of, it has like a double out and back, uh, L-shape out and back kind of. So, you know, you can uh, throw in some airtime moments, inversions, and uh, some like wave turns, outer banks, and stuff like that. So, this rag would definitely be a good RMC candidate in my opinion. And now let's talk about if this, like, if this is going to actually happen. And as we know, uh, before, uh, back in like 2013, uh, Lake Monster, that thing, that was supposed to happen. You know, like the gravity group conversion of Predator. Uh, obviously, that never happened. That was very unrealistic. But now that they're with the Six Flags chain, I think that they could uh, get this coaster arm seed. Because, you know, like Six Flags loves RMC. And there isn't really that many more uh, big parks that need, or uh, just parks in general that have a coaster that can get arm seed in the Six Flags chain, so I think Predator's up next, and maybe like 2022, because Tantrum just came in 2018, and that was the uh, first coaster in uh, 10 years, so this park doesn't really get coasters that fast, so I don't really know what the timeline for this thing is, but anyways, uh, we've already seen uh, arm seed look at it, as well as GCI and Gravity Group, so they've all had interest in it. I bet Six Flags is interest in converting this thing, but the odd thing with this ride is that it does get lines still. That might just because uh, might be because of its low height requirement of 48 inches, or just because of its stupid capacity. Uh, you know, this whole park is one train hops besides Tantrum, and it, the, it just takes a long time to go through its layout. And this coaster uh, actually got uh, retract, so this might. Uh, if affect all the RMC possibilities. It did get retracked in 2019, but it uh, did absolutely nothing. It, the retracking really didn't do anything besides on one turn. So that really didn't work. And as uh, we've seen before, uh, some of the rides got like retracted. Like Wicked Cyclone or just Cyclone got retracted a few years before it got transformed into Wicked Cyclone. So that could happen here. Anyways, let's just uh, see some possibilities of what this coaster would look like. Alright, so this is a prediction. This is from Cedar Flags, by the way. Credit to him for this prediction. And I actually think this is re really accurate. Uh, most of the stuff uh, would make sense other than that 90 degree drop. Like, that that wouldn't. But uh, just a lot of this uh, prediction, his prediction would just make a lot of sense. And, uh, like, as you'll see here, it's just a very good layout to get RM Seed. Uh, you could do a lot of stuff with it. As for a name, I'd probably still go with that Lake Monster name or something like that. I mean, that, that kind of sounds pretty cool, but it, I don't know. You know, that tried that, uh, that was going to happen before, but uh, it does, doesn't really matter. The layout uh, just looks really good. You could definitely do a lot of things with this layout. Uh, you know, we've already seen a lot of Din Woodies get converted into RMCs, and, you know, I... I I think that this could be the best ride in the park, really, if it's done right, if it's done uh, as good as, like, Wicked Cyclone or uh, Storm Chaser, like, some of these uh, small but powerful RMCs, then it could definitely be the best ride in the park, and uh, Ride of Steel is actually a hard ride to beat. I mean, it's actually pretty good. There, there's some really nice ejector moments, so you, you really have to uh, go all out to beat that, in my opinion, but I I think that, uh, you know, Alan Shilke could definitely do it. He's awesome. And it is just, it's just definitely beatable, and if they do this thing right, it's definitely going to destroy any ride at this park. So let's see the layout. 
So first you have the chain lift, uh, obviously. And as you can see, it kinda, uh, in this prediction, it kind of got uh, bumped up. It's only 95 feet. Now it's uh, 137, and obviously uh, everything else got changed. The layout isn't really that much longer. It's like 3,100 feet in real life, and uh, the RMC is like th uh, 3,219. But anyways, uh, you have this really steep drop. It's like 90 degrees. I don't think that's going to happen. And I agree with this airtime hill. You know, every RMC needs one big camelback that just ejects you. And... I, you know, like, wave turn there and, like, the step up. I, yeah, and now we have some, like, off-axis action going on. You know, an inversion. I, I just think it's very, this is very accurate so far. And another inversion. And just a lot of off-axis air time. And Predator just had a lot of hills and turns. It's just a lot of, a lot of things to work with for, uh, a lot of things for RMC to work with. So, uh, you know, that's just, uh, Predator. I definitely want it to be RMC because it's at my home park. And I just think it has a lot of potential too. Really, the only thing stopping it's the height because the lake is there. But anyways, other than that, uh, nothing really stopping it. It just has a, a wonderful way out to be RMC. So that's going to wrap it up. What do you think about RMC Predator? Do you think it's going to happen? Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.